Elimination Final of the EA Sports Maui Invitation from lovely Hawaii. All right, Dick, here we go. It's not the true final, but it is another test for these young men. Let's get started with tonight's matchup between the Syracuse Orange and the Purdue Boilermakers. Number five is the freshman that will have the burden of taking his team to victory tonight. This kid is one of the best offensive threats in the country, baby. He fills it up from anywhere as well as the Chirac. The Boilermakers will no doubt have to find an answer for him. The Boilermakers might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for him? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Next, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Thirdly, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. screen stolen away on the dribble gives it up inside he stole the ball great pressure there fantastic ball pressure the pressure got to the ball handler and he lost it that's about a door defense nobody coming over nobody giving any help I mean that's how you see better defense on a playground there's the trap they say forget about it and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over takes care of the ball until the offense resets he fires away Arnold was a top recruit coming out of high school personally I can't wait to see how he's going to develop I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros that's what you want he gets the rejection they work the perimeter got some room step out on that screener with a deep shot from outside. Goes. Schmidt is animated and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. For two, perfectly executed. Trying to pack it inside. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. the elbow they feed down to the low block bank picks up the defensive foul he goes to the line for the first time nothing but nylon NBN. the low block that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot he'll regroup the offense inside and he tries to spin away from the defender i tell you he's versatile in the post he's got the spin move and a number of other activities Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. Erickson receives the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He keeps the dribble as they reset. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Sinks the shot. Take some pride on the defensive end. Turnaround jumper. A 
tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as Belvin, fading away, passing the block. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Basket falls despite the contact. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. They work it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Skip pass is picked off. Harvey handles the pass. He takes the shot from the baseline. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. He shoots from right of the circle. Purdue are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Banks handles the feed. Double team now, bad angle. Steal. Head up, we gotta have vision, gotta see the open man. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other a rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. On the outside, the small forward receives the pass. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Good job defensively. Here they come now on a turnover. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They're working around the arc. He throws it up from downtown, drains it. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Uh, poor job, poor job offensively. I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Now check him out. Who would have thought? Well, the cheerleaders. Come on. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Now the high screen. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They 
would like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, and a really good, a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got some room. Gave it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 14 takes the pass in the paint. Turn over City and I'll always really negate any offense. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for the foul. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Here they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Arnold pound it. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Nick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special mark, feet of the post. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. In the paint for the bucket, and he missed. He shoots from the baseline, way off target. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two, perfectly executed. They work the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up, fakes a jumper, controlling the ball. There he is, puts the ball loose. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, there's a sense of urgency down here at the bench. The coaching staff is stressing it's time to start playing their game. Brad, I think it's time for their star player to start leading his team out here. Pass, it's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Sinks it. They scored seven in a row. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots. Nice shot. Gave it up on the inside. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
They strip him in their basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. On the outside. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Up and inside. He shoots from left of the circle. Gets it to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He gets it to go. Picked out of the air. And a momentary look from three-point land. Gets it back out. I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we give him the ball, though? And Coach Green, going to use it? These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Two, Purdue are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. <laughs> this place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Jumped in front to take it away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for contact. Take another look at that play. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second early. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Perfectly executed. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. Fronts him first, it, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They're working around the perimeter. He up fakes. There's the screen up on top. He takes the shot off the baseline. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. He takes it away. They get out on the break. For the bucket, he shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot. 
On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Tries for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Tries one from three-point land. He's money with the shot. Two for one opportunity. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Shot clock is dead. Here's a spin down in the low block. What a facial on that one. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He blocks the shot. It's a block. He rejects it. He drills the long-range bomb. At halftime, the Boilermakers are up by four. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? In my opinion, Mr. Nestler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Purdue did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys have given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically had time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. There's a double team waiting there. For two, perfectly executed. It and off the mark. Gave it up. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Goes up for two, and he scores despite the hack. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Orange have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. 
Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The shooting guard takes the feed, makes the shot. the dribble gives it up gave it up the power forward takes the pass the ball goes out of bounds and there's a look at the backcourt comparison Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing are they getting their team's quality shots good opportunities the team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game Purdue are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Defense has really stepped up. They take it over the tempo very nicely. He shoots from the elbow. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. That spin move not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And a momentary look from three point land. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Picked off. The deuce scorches the net. Steals a pass. On the outside, the small forward with the ball. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Looking for a good shot. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. the free throw line opportunity concentrate got to concentrate on that free throw line makes the second shot that's a 7-0 run Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Looking to move it around the perimeter for two. Up, easy one. They scored nine in a row. Intercepted. Length of the floor. Tries for two. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. It'll be interesting. 
to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The Orange have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He shoots from long range. That's 14 unanswered. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the shot to fall. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, Syracuse are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The power forward gets, here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Goes up for two. And in and out. Pump fakes. Way out on top, controlling the ball. There's the fake for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Picked off. The shooting guard gets the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots it way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> Look at that spacing. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sidelines. Brad? Fakes the shot. He makes a nice shot fake. For the bucket. Rims out. They work the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me. Franklin steps to the line for the first time. Makes his first. Second shot, good. They scored 10 in a row.
not ready to hit the floor. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries to get the D to bite. With a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Top of and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He puts it in with contact and all. And he'll kick it back outside. With the fake. Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. That's a great spin move to the basket. paint for the deuce great play to take that to the basket he intercepts it long down court he posterized it to the line he sinks it. Dump it inside. Here's a flash from the high post. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. the dribble gives it up for two and he missed for the bucket sweet looking shot he is super he really is gave it up the offense gaining great post position down low absolutely getting a good inside angle a poor job defensively no help I mean that is post play at its best Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Syracuse have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. For two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Great defense. Tries for two. In and out. Takes away the pass. Oh, yes. Looking for a good shot. Goes for the deep one. It's good. He's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. We get another look at it in the lane. with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip, going one way, you spin back the other way. Almost lost the basketball. For the bucket, the land. Erickson, and they're going to count it. Determination, baby. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Franklin draws the personal. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He sinks them both. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. On the outside. Kicks it out. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He dials long distance. He gets it to fall. For two, he doesn't get the hoop. Steals the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries the three. He makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Pushing that basketball. Stolen ball. Full court pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that 
good spacing. In the paint. Goes up for two. Was that beautiful or what? They work the perimeter. With a great block. Count that as a personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line. There's a reason they're called free throws. Second shot, no good. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to... Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Scorches the net. Fakes it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Here's a double team. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Dick. Hey, the defense did their job, baby. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing, they're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Shot clock is dead. Dump it inside. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Look at that spacing. Working it around the perimeter. Sets the screen for his teammate. They work it around the perimeter. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. Purdue fought the good fight, but they still come up short. It's always tough to lose to a team that you know you can beat. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.